Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back for another quick review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, movie turtles the, from the new Michael Bay Ninja Turtles movie. Um, so these guys just came out. They hit, uh, I believe, first at Walmart. So check them out. And I'm going to just do a quick look at all four turtles at once. I'm not going to break up the review in the four reviews. Uh, these guys are relatively uh, simple uh, as far as, you know, describing what they do and what they're about. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. Uh, I'll go into it first with Donatello. So I'll give you a quick, good in-depth close-up look at each turtle. There we go. Sorry about that. So that's the face for Donatello. Uh, he seems to be the scrawniest of the group. Thin arms, thin waist. Obviously they're playing up the uh, tech angle with him. Uh, these new designs are interesting. I mean, they're not my favorite design, but uh, I think the turtle design itself is cool. I just don't really like all the junk that they put on them. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Um, especially with Donatello. Um, they put this I don't even know what this is. Looks like what those guys used to uh, blow dirt around when they're doing lawn care. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's just kind of weird. Uh, they got the goggles and everything on the head too. It's soft plastic. It doesn't go into place over the eyes. It's not removable. Um, this is the design of the you know the movie, so I understand why it's there. I just would have preferred it removable or I don't know. But uh, overall, the uh, they're following the uh, the classic uh, color tones for each turtle being different. So this is very similar to the cartoon. How you know Donatello tends to be the lightest green. Uh, you got this samurai type sash around them uh, as far as articulation goes on these guys uh, head is on a swivel on a bull joint so I can go up and down a little bit and then of course left and right bull joints are really tight arms go out up and down no elbow articulation which is a big bummer and he does have wrist articulation so you got that uh, in the waist the legs go in and out up and down hindered a bit by the sash elbow or actually not elbow but knee articulation only goes so far so moderate articulation on these guys they're all pretty much the same but they are all different bodies they all have different uh, molds which is nice um, and that's Donatello moving on to Leonardo he's probably one of the best out of the group uh, as far as the action figures go be a good look at him. Uh, if any of you guys are members on the uh, Sideshow Freaks forum, um, recommend taking a look at the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thread. Uh, one of the guys on there, I think his name is name is Iron Man, did a beautiful repaint on this figure. Looks phenomenal. Um, and uh, kind of inspired me to pick these up, and I may be giving a 
giving it a shot myself. I'll go ahead and repaint these guys because um, they're pretty cool out of the package. They're not bad, but uh, a good repaint on these really sets it off. Same articulation. Uh, funny thing is, too, I noticed uh, the only one with weapon storage for their weapons is Leonardo. So with him, you do get the uh, the holsters, but uh, with all the other three turtles, there is no weapon storage, um, which is a little bit of a letdown. Not sure why they went that route, but in any event. Uh, here is Raphael. He's probably the biggest out of the group. Uh, most musculature, uh, biggest arms. You know, this guy is just beast. Really good design. Not sure why they got a sash around every single one of these turtles' waists. Uh, give you a quick look. You know, if this, see it's sort of removable. You gotta kind of pop it out there. But the articulation is greatly improved with this removed from the figure. So maybe when I repaint it, I may remove that, replace it with a cloth version. To kind of get the articulation better and I don't know just uh, thinking out loud guys but uh, Raphael is definitely a very cool figure uh, him and Leo out of the uh, out of these movie figures are probably some of the coolest Let's see again you know nowhere to store the weapons looks like as if they they could have Maybe went there, but they didn't. They didn't really execute that. Um, paint apps on this, you know, it's kind of weird. Like over here, you see, like kind of like smudged a uh, lighter green to kind of get texture shown, but didn't really work out so well. There is some shading in the uh, chest of the shell. But yeah, and then uh, last is Michelangelo. Uh, him and Donatello are kind of in a race for the worst turtle out of this bunch. Uh, I'd probably say it was Donatello, but uh, Mikey's face kind of looks doofy. Uh, weapons on this. He comes with two different nunchucks. Uh, pretty cool. For some reason he's wearing some kind of pants and a sweater. Again, with the sash thing, I, I really don't know why that was incorporated into the design of all of them, but that's what they are. Um, again, as you can see, no weapon storage. Not sure what's up with the jewelry. 1980s Mr. T uh, Michelangelo here. It, it, I think the turtle designs are cool. It's again, it's the junk that they've thrown on them that kind of loses it for me. You know, the these outfits are goofy. I mean, a pair of shoes, toes cut out of it pants, knee pads, and a sweater, and then jewelry. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I got to see the movie to, to get a better understanding of why they look like this. I mean, I know they live in a sewer, and they probably just grab whatever they can, but and you can see the necklace design ends halfway up, which is weird. But uh, that's it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick look, uh, let you guys know these are out there. Go ahead and uh, jump on them if you're a fan of Ninja Turtles. Uh, 
they're pretty neat. They're, they're cool. I'm glad to have them uh, as, you know, bizarre as some of them are. Uh, others are really cool, and you really can't have one without the other. So, you know, they're a team. I'm glad to have them. Uh, I'll give you guys an update if I do get to the, uh, the repainting of these guys. But uh, that's it. The 11 inch Deluxe Ninja Turtles from the Ninja Turtle movie by Michael Bay. Go check it out. Thanks again for watching, guys.